Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in my bathroom if it sounds a little bit echoey in here because now I'm speaking I can really hear myself. I am going to be doing a video where I do half kind of cheaper makeup and half more expensive makeup so it's like half drugstore half high-end i know that so many people have done this video just in general but i wanted to do it and not everything is going to be high-end on one side not everything is going to be drugstore but it's going to be one side is significantly more expensive than the other and i'm going to try and make them look the same just to prove that you don't need to spend like so much money on makeup that you can actually use cheaper things and sometimes maybe you need to spend a little bit more on more expensive things who knows we'll see what the video holds but that is basically it if i've got redness on my face especially on my eyes it's because i've got dry skin on my eyes my hay fever has been playing up and i've been itching my eyes so i do apologize but without further ado let's get into the video so to begin with i'm going to be priming and i did recently do a video where i compared these two primers here the avant primer and the revolution primer they have an 80 pound difference this one is 85 pounds and this one is five pounds did a video i'll link it down below in the description if you want to go and see the comparison between the two and a wear test but i am going to be applying those today so i think this side is going to be more expensive, this side is going to be cheaper, so I'm going to start with the cheap side. So I've got to remember to do just half my face. And then the add-on one on the other side. By the way, I'm going to leave the totals, um, the price total, um, in the corner of the screen if you were wondering. Because I won't always know the, the price of everything, so when I edit this video I'll research um, everything's price. It's crazy how you, you haven't even seen really a difference to my face yet and already one side is £5 and the other side is £80. I just find that £85, I just find that crazy. Foundation time. So I am going to be using these two foundations. I'm going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Wear Weightless Foundation and then on the expensive side I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This one's the one I use and this one's the one my mum uses. Um, I believe that this one is £3.99 and the Estee Lauder one is like £35 or something but like I said I'll put all the details on the screen throughout the video and everything. Um, I do actually mix this though with the Revolution Drop so I'm going to have to add that to the price because obviously you know I do use it so I'm going to have to add that to the price but they are cheap drops to use. Oh, I've just realised I accidentally put too much product on my hand. I put enough product on for a whole face when I realised I'm just doing half my face. Never mind, I'll just have to wipe some off. So that is half my face done. Wow, that looks really weird. I don't like that. I'm now going to use the other side with the double wear foundation. I don't need too much of that because it's quite thick. I don't like this foundation. My mum uses it every day um, because she's got rosacea so she likes to cover that up. But I personally don't like it. I feel like it's too much um, on my skin. But anyway, I'm just going to pop a bit of that on. I'm going to start off by hardly putting a thing on. Like, I'm not going to put too much on because I do know how thick it is and how full coverage it is but I might add a little bit more on <laughs> you can see they're two different shades on my face right now so I'm happy with that this side does look a lot less cakey than this side I quite like it actually um, but that's due to the fact that I didn't put much of the foundation on whereas on this side there's a lot more um coverage on it actually that foundation is actually really nice i actually quite like that if you only apply a little bit of it it is nice um for concealer i only had one concealer so i can't really compare costs of anything so i'm just going to pop a little bit of this makeup obsession mega conceal concealer on both sides and i'm just going to add this onto the price of both sides because i couldn't you know there's nothing else i could use because you know my mum doesn't use concealer and I've only got one because, you know, who needs two? OK, 
Okay, now for powder. The price difference between the two is not much at all, but what I've come to the conclusion with this video is, is that every little helps. Tesco, I know. But what I'm saying is every little price difference adds up to kind of a bigger difference. So I thought, oh, I might as well, you know, use, you know, different ones, even though they're quite similar. So the first cheaper one is the Natural Collection Matte Press Powder in the shade Neutral. This is the one that my mum uses. And then this one is, you can't really see it, but it's the Collection um, Sheer Loose Powder. So this is a loose powder and it's obviously costs a little bit more than this one. Um, but not too much more. So I'm just going to get my powder brush and I'm going to do the cheaper side using this powder. Okay, that's nice and mattified. And then I'm going to use the loose powder on the other side of my face. This is a different shade. The one that my mum uses, the, the cheaper one that I just showed you, the natural collection one, is a lot lighter, which I kind of prefer. This one is a bit darker and adds a little bit of kind of pigment to your face which I don't really mind but you know there's better so that is that the two powders are both just as good as each other so now we're going to go into like bronzers blushes all that kind of thing so for bronzer the two bronzers that i'm using one is from makeup gallery which is poundland so that's a pound and then this one is one that i found online this was i believe like two or three pounds i think it was three pounds so there's not much price difference here as well but like i said earlier every little helps the reason why i don't have that much expensive makeup to kind of compare the sides is sorry i'm just sorting the camera out um is because i don't wear makes expensive makeup i don't believe that you need it um i do have the odd item that's expensive but that's either because someone's given it to me or i've got it in my glossy box so but anyway i'm gonna use this it does look very warm toned i'm quite concerned about this it looks very warm um but who knows it might become a favorite because this is obviously my mum, so I haven't used it. Okay, pigmentation is not the strongest, so I'm going to have to pick a little bit more kind of product up there. I'm just going to pop it where I would usually pop it on, on this side. I do actually really like that. That's actually quite nice. I need to be careful not to pop on too much. Oh my God, I love that. I might have to steal that off mum. Yeah, that's nice. I'm definitely stealing that off mum. Don't watch this video mum because I'm going to steal this off you. Or I could always buy my own. Right, and then I'm going to use this slightly more expensive one on the other side. It's a little bit more darker toned. But I do think I actually prefer the one I've just used. But who knows, let's see. And it blends nicer anyway on that side. Yeah, you can see that this one's a lot darker. It's more kind of muddy and kind of a ready toned. Um, bronzer rather than kind of orangey toned which is what that side is this is a lot more pigmented though I do have to say but pigmentation isn't always a good thing because it means that if it's not pigmented you can kind of build it up a little bit right so you can see this side's more orangey toned at this side's kind of more ready toned but it looks a bit muddy I actually really like this side with that bronzer that is a good find I have found a good product for this video so there we go um, now I'm going to move on to blusher and the two blushes that I have today are not similar in price so the first one is natural collection blusher I got this from my mum's makeup bag that will be just a few pounds or one pound fifty or two pounds or something and then the other blusher I'm using is the Annabelle Minerals blusher I'm not too sure how much this is I'll put it on the screen now but I know that it is a lot more expensive than this one and that was in my glossy box, so that's why I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm just going to apply this, so pop some of that on the cheap side. Again, I'm not sure how pigmented these are. Oh, that's quite pigmented. Let's kind of pat that down. Oh, I quite like that blusher, that's nice. Yeah, I'd wear that one. And then I'm going to put my Annabelle Minerals blusher on. This is actually a loose powder and I don't like this one actually. Um, it was obviously in my glossy box so I didn't buy it. Um, but I don't like this because it is loose and it gets everywhere. And also the colour is not really, 
you know, the best. It's quite kind of purpley toned and I tend to go for kind of like peachy sort of blushes, but it is, it is nice. I'm sure, you know, someone would love it. Now, highlighter wise, I did really want to use two different highlights, but I actually don't have two different highlights of differing price points, unfortunately. So, or do I? No, I don't think I do. So I'm just going to go in with this contour palette from Sleek and I'm just going to highlight my whole face um, using that same highlighter and I'll add the price of it on to both sides. I feel like this video is going to be a massive fail because I'm just using some of the same products. This side's blush is looking a lot stronger than this side. I'm just going to kind of pat that down. I'm actually loving my makeup today. Loving it. I'm really liking that bronzer. That's a good find. Yeah, I'm 100% going to take that off, Mum. Or buy my own. Um, anyway, we're going to move on to eyeshadow. So I do have two different eyeshadow palettes of different price points because I have the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette, which is £10, and then the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, which is, I believe, £40. So there's a £30 price difference. So I'm going to try and kind of you know make it look the same on each side because otherwise that would be a bit stupid um so i'm gonna start off using a transition shade in the soap palette the cheaper palette i'm gonna go in the shade cookie dough as a transition shade oh the phone's ringing my brother's downstairs he probably won't answer it because he probably can't hear oh he can hear and then we're gonna go in with this one and we're gonna go in with the shade low blow which is here and we're going to pop that in the crease of the other side this is a little bit stronger in pigmentation so i'm going to try and not get too much product on my brush but like i said this is a transition shade maybe i'll bring you in a tiny bit closer back in with the soap palette i'm going to make this look very simple by the way i don't want to be using shade after shade after shade and i'm going to take the shade dreams which is this shade here i'm going to use my finger with that because that's a shimmer shade so it will pay off um pigmentation wise a little bit better using my finger so i'm just gonna pop that on my eyelid on the cheaper side i think when it comes to shimmers you can tell the difference between um, an expensive palette and a cheap palette well especially when it comes to urban decay anyway because i can personally tell the difference um and then i'm gonna use the shade hmm i'm gonna use the shade lumber from this palette and that's gonna act as kind of a similar shade to the one i've just put on i think okay it isn't that similar it's a lot more kind of ready toned than this side this one's very gold and this one's kind of more pinky kind of rose gold but you know we tried we tried and then i'm gonna take a matte shade through the crease and then that'll be us done so i'm gonna take the shade chocolate orange down here and i'm just gonna buff that into the crease and try and kind of warm it up a little bit more to kind of match the other side if you can hear that noise i think that's my dad pushing something with wheels on it and then on the other side, I'm going to take the shade He Devil, which is here. And I'm going to pop that also in the crease to try and see if I can match the sides up. Not done the best of jobs here, I'm not going to lie. I don't think they match at all. But, you know, we're here to try our best. So for my eyebrows, I don't have two separate products that are significant enough price difference. I did pick a product out, but it's literally like a pound difference. So I am just going to do my eyebrows using this because I don't want them to look too different. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've got more videos to film after this. So I'm just going to use this. And again, I'm going to add the price to both sides. It's like three pounds or something like that. And it's from Revolution. It's just a pomade. And I'm just going to use this angled brush and carve out my brows.
that's my eyebrows done. To those of you eyebrow haters out there that do not like my eyebrows and do not like how I do them, screw you. I don't really care what you think. I I don't really, you know, ever, I'm not always 100% happy with my eyebrows. I just do them how I do them. So, you know, just take a chill pill and calm down. So I'm gonna use a setting spray. I have two setting sprays. One of them is from the collection and one of them is from Essence. I think the one from Essence is just like a couple of pounds and then this one is six pounds. So there's a small price difference. So I'm gonna use this setting spray on this side and then the collection one on the other side. Oh Christ. Well already you can tell the difference in price by how it sprays at you like a hose pipe. So I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend that in because otherwise you just have loads of dots over your face. And that is not good. And then the collection one on the other side, I love this one, I repurchased it so many times. Mm, nice. And it's a nice mist as well. And again, I'm just gonna blend that in as well. Just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Right, I'm now gonna use mascara. I do have two mascaras. One of them is from the Natural Collection. I believe this is like £1.50 or £2 or something. And then this one is from Wet n Wild. And I think this is like three or four pounds. Small difference, but I thought, you know what, I might as well test them out and compare them. Oh, this one's brown. This one's my mum's, by the way. So I'm just gonna pop that on my lashes. I'll zoom you in a bit closer so that you can see. So I'm just gonna start kind of placing them gently. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Wet n Wild on the other side. That's actually a really nice mascara, I quite like that one. Okay, wow, actually, that's shocked me. The collection side actually looks, uh, sorry, the natural collection side actually looks so much better than the essence side. That's crazy. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that one because it's a very cheap mascara. So I'm just zooming you out a little bit and now I am going to finish off this whole look using lipstick. Didn't really think about that too much. So I've got two here. One of them is from Beauty Big Bang and it's a couple of pounds. It's literally like one pound 50, two pounds. And then the other one I think is from L'Oreal. I'm not sure, it doesn't actually say the brand on it. And this is like six pounds or five or six pounds. So there is a little bit of a difference. I don't have really expensive lipsticks that I can compare. I do have a few expensive, like more expensive liquid lipsticks but I don't have anything, I've, I've got an expensive liquid lipstick, but then I don't have a cheap one. So, you know, that's a similar color. So I'm trying to make them a similar color. So I'm gonna use the cheap one on this side. And I'm gonna blend that out a little bit because I know that it's a lot darker than that one. And I know it's a lip crayon and lip crayons, you can blend them out like this. That side and then the other side using this oh that seems like it's melted a little probably has in the heat it's a little bit lighter on this side okay so that is the finished look that is both sides completely finished and done this side here is the cheaper side so this is what it looks like i personally really really like the bronzer that's a win-win. Um, I also kind of like the eyeshadow on that side as well because it's a little bit more kind of subtle um, and I really like the mascara as well. This side, base-wise, so in terms of foundation, I really like my base. On this side, it looks a lot less cakey than this side and I just feel like it won't rub off as easy. And yeah, overall, which side do you prefer? Do you prefer this side or this side? I don't know whether it's gonna be my left or you're right. Just say whether you prefer the cheaper side or the most expensive side. I personally think this has turned out really, really well. 
and I found some really great products. So I won't do a wear test throughout the day because that's not what this video is. It's just like a fun little kind of challenge video. Overall, this is the overall price difference. So this is the price for the cheap side and this is the price for the expensive side. So I'm not entirely sure what price difference that is, but I will leave it on screen. That They both look very similar. I think the only difference between the two sides is really the eyeshadow and also the mascara and the lipstick but overall in terms of bronzers blushes things like that there's not too much of a difference so you don't have to spend like endless amounts of money on high-end products when you can get a similar to you know sometimes exactly the same result with something a little bit cheaper you don't have to have those really expensive products that's what i'm trying to say and the difference you know maybe this side is a little bit better maybe it does feel a little bit better or last a bit longer but at the end of the day if you can't afford that makeup then you don't need it you can you know have something that's a little bit cheaper and i personally kind of really like this side and i think i prefer the cheaper side but that's not because it's cheaper that's because i think um, the eyeshadow looks better i like the bronzer better on the mascara so i think you know that's why i prefer that side but it's completely up to you. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more content on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.